Okay, story time. It is not very often that I get to shed my light of wisdom down onto our younger generation's plateau, but it just so happened to happen this weekend, and I gotta let you know what happened. Now, it did not take long after we found out that the Floribama Bar in Orange Beach, Alabama was open that me and Sarah was not on our way there. So we was cock locked, ready to rock, headed to the Honky Tonk Hurricane House because that's where they make our favorite drink, the Honky Tonk Hurricane. That's at the Floribama House. If you ain't have one, you're missing out, you ain't living right. Now, we get down there, and there's 14 trillion people there because apparently everybody got the same message as we did at them some was open. Now, we get down there, we walk in. I don't give a single fuck about anybody there other than that bartender because it has been two and a half months since I've been in the bar, and it is time for Zach to get a drink. I tried making my own Honky Tonk Hurricanes at home. It don't taste the same. Now, when I get there, I walk up there, and I say, hey, bartender. He said, yes, sir. I said, how many Honky Tonk Hurricanes can you sell me at one time without getting in trouble by the law? He said, I can give you two of them. I said, I want both of them. Sarah, you want anything? She got one too. Now, after that, we walk away from the bar. Now, I did not know exactly how drunk I was planning on getting, but I knew it had, how long it had been since I'd been in a bar, so the damn drinks just kind of went down like spring water. Now, about five minutes later after we got them drinks, Sarah turns around and looks at me, and I don't have any more drinks left. Now, I'm not drunk yet, but she does know if I continue on this same path that it's not going to end up good for anybody because I like to play hide and seek whenever I, whenever I drink. So anyway, so she takes me outside to where the kids play and they pull the boats up on the little beach outside. So we go fill a fucking out there and she sits me down on a lawn chair. She goes, Zach, I got to go to the bathroom. You stay right here and don't talk to nobody. I said, yes, ma'am. As soon as she walked away, I had no intention at all of doing what she said. I was going to get another drink because she's trying to cut me off and we ain't been there about 10 minutes. Now, I was in one of them low sitting lawn chairs. I couldn't get up by myself. My foot, my, my foot kept sliding out from underneath me on the sand. And I wasn't about to make a fool out of myself in front of all them people because I just got there. But I was going to find me somebody to talk to. The only person within talking distance of me was this little boy about 10 years old directly to my right. His name was Derek. Now, me and him had a very meaningful conversation, and I had shed some light about the wisdom about relationships to him because he was staring at these little girls down there by the water. Sounds good. So I, had, I helped him out. Now, about five minutes later, Sarah walked back up, and she sees me conversating with my new friend, Derek. And she goes, Zach, what are you doing? I said, I'm conversating with my new friend, Derek. She goes, come on. Yes, sir. So she helps me up out of my low slit and lawn chair, and we go back to the bar. Now, when we get done with the bar this time, I got me one more Honky Tonk Hurricane because she wouldn't let me get two. So I turn around and there's no place to sit inside the bar. So I said, babe, let's go back outside. The sun felt good outside. It's a little bit chilly. Let's go outside and back to the beach and sit in them lawn chairs. She goes, all right. Well, we walked back outside and the lawn chair I was sitting in was still available. So I went over there and sat and I looked, but there wasn't no Derek. All right. And then I finally caught a glimpse of him. And I could not hold it in. I just started busting out laughing like a proud daddy. And she looks at me and she goes, what are you laughing at? I said, my boy Derek takes instructions well. She said, what did you tell him to do? I said, it's not what I told him to do. It's what I told him not to do. She goes, explain. I said, you see that little boy down there? He had his eye on that little girl down there just 10 years old wearing makeup with straight hair and earrings sitting on a towel playing on her iPhone 14X you know, down there not having no fun. That's the girl that he liked and was trying to figure out how to go talk to. I redirected him 15 degrees north, northwest to the little girl who's sipping a, a milkshake through one of them big ass straws that just popped out of the water and did her hair like George Washington and is now climbing on her daddy's boat in order to do a cannonball off the back of it. I told him that if he wanted to go with that girl sitting down there on that towel on that iPhone, he better get ready for a lot of misery in his life because when they get older, if they just so happen to make it that long, then she gonna make him late for their reservations at the Red Lobster because she gonna put on the wrong shade of lipstick and have to completely change her whole outfit, every single piece of it. But if he wanted to have a fun life, he would go over there and find that real girl, the one that don't give a shit about what anybody thinks that keeps on jumping off the uh, back of her daddy's boat getting her hair wet trying to do a front flip that's the one you want she goes but well, which one am i i said let me tell you something darling i done tried the whole beauty queen thing i i, I tried it i tried it i tried it and all that kind of stuff and shit didn't work i just so happened to look up and find a beauty queen who's just naturally beautiful but you a real woman too she goes 
So you told that little boy over there to, not to go for the pretty girl, but to go for the real woman. I said, that's exactly what I told her. That's exactly what I told him. That's what I told her. She looked at me, and she don't look at me like this very often, and she goes, come on, let's go get you another drink. You did good. I said, hot damn, here we go now. I'm doing good things at Florida, Bama, and shit's been to get wild. By the end of the day, we did play hide and seek. Though I was in the I was in the, the yacht club, and she thought I she thought I was on the beach. She wasn't real happy when she found me though. That's my story. I made a difference in that boy's life. I put him on the right track. Shit.